Hi everyone, welcome to Android Geeks. In this video, we will see how to set up Android Studio and make a new project in it. We will also go through important features of Android Studio and also see the important files and folders in the project. We will also try to make some changes to the project and see the changes in the emulator. So let's open up Android Studio here. So here you can see that I have already installed Android Studio and it is waiting to be set up. So this is the Android Studio setup wizard here. Here we can see there's an option to go next. Let's go next. So in the screen, it gives us two options to choose the standard or the custom mode. Since I have already uh, installed Android Studio before, we can go with the custom option. And here it gives you the option to select the Dracula theme or the light theme. Of course, we want to go to the Dracula theme. Here it gives you the option to change the location of the SD candle. We'll go with the default options. And we'll give 2 GB RAM for the emulator. And here it will start downloading all the tools required for the Android Studio. Let's wait till it's downloaded. Okay. Now that Android Studio has been has downloaded all the tools required and is set up, let's go and click finish. And it gives you the option to start a new Android Studio project, open an existing project, and all other options. So let's go with start a new Android Studio project. Okay. So here it will give you many options like if you want to make a phone or tablet app or a Wear OS app for the Android Watch. A TV app for the Android TV, an auto app for the Android Auto, uh, Android Things app, etc. We'll go with the phone and tablets option and we will select an empty activity. So, there, here again, there are different options we can choose from to start a new Android project. So, let's choose an empty activity. Okay, in the screen, we can give the name for the application and configure different options. Let's name it My Awesome Android App. Cool. So here we can give a package name for the app. So let's keep it like this com.example.myawesomeAndroid app. And this is the path where the project will be stored. And the language used right now by default is Kotlin. Let's use Java for now. In a future video, we'll be showing how to uh, convert a Java project to a Kotlin. But since for the simplicity, we'll start with the Java project. And minimum API level, let's choose an API 16. And uh, we will leave every other, uh, other options as it is. And we'll click Finish. Okay, so Android Studio has now created the project for us. So let's look at different parts of Android Studio. So here is the Project Explorer where we can see the different files and folders in the project. So right now it's in the Android view. Let's switch it to the project view. And let's open the My Awesome Android app folder. So inside there are many files and folders. So we'll go through important folders and files. So let's open the app folder. It has a build.gradle. So this file holds the main properties of the application like the application ID, the minimum SDK version, the target SDK version that we target to run. The minimum SDK version is the minimum Android SDK version that is required to run the app. Then there are like dependencies that the app is dependent on. We'll come to all this in detail in future videos, but right now we are only going through the important files and the properties. The next important file is inside the SRC folder. So the SRC folder holds all the source code of our app. And if you open the main folder, there is another file called Android Manifest. Double click. So right now we have to double click every file to open. So let's change that in the settings here. In the project explorer settings, 
we have to enable auto scroll to source and uh, auto scroll from source so that will help us to open the files in an easy way with a single click okay so that is one then all the other important files are in the java folder inside our our application package name so we can find the main activity class here so if you look at the package it is same as the application id that we gave initially so these are the important files of the for the android project there's also one more gradle file you can see here so this is the project level gradle file and the other one is the module or app level gradle file okay another important folder in the project is the resources folder which is inside the main folder if you come here inside the main folder you can see an R, a folder named res which holds all the resources that is required for our project so let's look at drawable so the drawable folder holds all the images that are required for our project so there are like different kinds of drawable uh, folders here we'll come to all the details in future videos then there are and there is another folder called layout which contains all the ui layouts for our application so this one is the uh, ui for the main activity if you can see here then there are map maps which are again used to hold images then there is another folder called values which holds different values that are required in our application like colors which can be represented as a hex string here or strings which are like text that are used in our application and styles that holds different themes that can be used for screens and widgets in the application okay now that we have seen different uh, files and folders in the project let's uh, go ahead and run the project and see what happens let's go to main activity and uh, let's enable the view here to windows toolbar and uh, we can see the green play button here so let's press the green button and here now it will give an option to create a virtual device since we have not created any virtual devices till now let's create one so let's select pixel or pix pixel Let's use Q to download. Let it finish downloading. Okay, now uh, Android Q has been downloaded, so let's go ahead and select it and next. And we'll keep all the default settings like this and select finish. hopefully it should come here let's wait for some time okay there was some issue with my android studio which is fixed now so right now we can you can see the pixel emulator here we will select that and uh, we'll click ok to run the app we'll also proceed without instant run so as you can see a pixel is starting up here we'll try to bring it in one screen okay so let it boot up so this time delay is only for the first time you run the emulator so the from next time there won't be as much delay because it will be already set up yes so it looks like our app is running okay it's only installing the apk right now so here you can see installing apk so android studio has built the apk and is installing to the emulator right now so right now our application has been run as you can see the hello world from our application here so let's see where it is coming from so if you look at the manifest file 
you can see the main activities is mentioned here as, as the main activity let's open main activity so here is the main activity that is running so we can open the layout it's command click or uh, control click for windows and linux so here we can see it says hello world so let's go ahead and change this string and see what happens so let's see where this hello world is coming from so this hello world is written here so let's change it to hello from the other side and let's run it again let's click uh, use same selection for future launches and select pixel and uh, run it again so again proceed with the instant run it's again installing the apk launching the activity and here it is the text has now changed to hello from the other, from the other side so this is how you make a new project in an Android Studio and run the project in an emulator. Okay, so right now we have seen how to make a new project in Android Studio, see different uh, parts of uh, Android Studio where we can explore the files and folders of the project and we have also seen how to make a new emulator and run the project in an emulator and also how to change uh, the text and see how the changes happen in the app. So that's it for the for this video right now. Now uh, I would like to tell you more about the series that I am trying to do uh, in YouTube. So I am trying to make a series of Android tutorials for beginners aiming to teach Android development from zero to be able to make your own Android apps with networking, image loading, local storage etc. The full list of the uh, topics that I am planning to cover will be given in the description below. So please check that description to find more about the series. And uh, I would also like uh, to ask you that if you like this video uh, and if you think that this series will be helpful for you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you think this video will be useful for anyone else, please share this video in Facebook, Twitter or any other social media you use. Also, please leave your comments below about this video and any other topic you would like to see in the future. So that's it for now. Thank you all and see you next week.